a large uh, streaming uh, provider uh, that we, we all know. Uh, <laughs> whose, whose name we cannot say. We will not, we mention, the say. We will not mention the they name, give us but the right uh, we were at a, at a lunch here, here in L.A. and having a really good conversation about some of the trends mm -hmm. that are affecting uh, the large streamers, uh, one of those being, you know, making the most of their existing uh, library and, and content. And so uh, it was this product that we're going to talk about uh, today was really born out of that conversation. Uh, this person who was just having this conversation with us about uh, their acquisition strategy changing um, and specifically acquiring library content uh, for the purposes of, you know, uh, reboots, spin offs, revitalizing it. But, you know, it, it was a creative need. Uh, and specifically trying to identif identify the right uh, library IP and, and the difficulty in doing that because there's so many um, titles out there that are available that have sort of been lying dormant. They've been in syndication or they've been, but by, for all intents and purposes, they've been lying dormant for a while. Um, and so it's targeting the right ones, but trying to identify and prioritize among them was the biggest pain point for this person. We have uh, access to this, uh, this enormous community of content enthusiasts on, in our, our TV time app uh, and platform. Anyways, we said, well, look, why don't we just ask them? So we had a, uh, a major studio that we were talking to where they said, well, I, I'm not, I'm, that's another division, that's not me, but uh, what I'm looking to do is create single IP fast channels, and I've got to mine our own catalog uh, for single, for those, to develop those channels. Um, I've got to prioritize among my own catalog. So can you help me do that? And we said, yeah, this, this actually just sort of coincidentally, yeah. we, were, we were doing this at the same time. Again, it wasn't like we were pitching them on this. Right. It just sort of came about. They discussed this need. And we said, well, actually, that was, that's a very similar need um, in terms of understanding um, among, you have a, a large, you know, a, a number of titles that you have to make decisions from and prioritize amongst. Uh, and that's really the, the crux of it is fan feedback. It's, it's yeah. getting, understanding what the latent demand is for those titles by asking people directly. If you're programming a channel, you're thinking about, okay, if I put this channel and it shows up in the guide, is this gonna catch someone's attention? Are they gonna watch my channel in that moment? And rather than a survey, we're doing almost, if you think about it, like that exact experiment in our community where we're just flashing it up in front of the person and they're swiping left or right, right? And they're getting, our, our clients are of course getting that direct feedback, you know, very quickly.